In this video, I'm going to show you how you can calculate Doncian or price channels in Excel. I'm going to show you a simple method. I'm going to show you a dynamically adjustable method. And I'm going to show you how you can do this in Google Sheets as well. We're going to create our Doncian channels, our price channels in this Excel spreadsheet. So we're going to create the upper channel, the lower channel, and the median channel, which is the midline, which can be a very useful line as well. I'm going to make this a 20 bar Doncian channel. So I'm going to use my cursor to identify 20 rows. I'm going to go one row lower because we wanted to start from the row before. I'm going to use the formula equals max. And that's going to find the highest value. The next cell across, I'm going to use the formula equals min to find the lowest value to identify my lower channel. Press enter. Now the median channel, I'm going to use equals the sum of those two values divided by two. And then I'm going to highlight all three values. I'm going to click on the lower right hand corner, copy them down. So there we have our Doncian bands with 20 bars, but we want this to be dynamic and it's really, really easy. So I'm going to create a reference cell in J2 of 20. I'm going to use the formula equals max and combine it with offset. The offset cell reference is going to be the high value of the previous row. Offset by no rows and no columns, but I'm going to give it a height of minus my reference cell F4 to make it fixed. I'm going to do exactly the same for my lower channel equals min offset. I'm going to identify the low of the previous row of the row above. No rows, no columns, but a height of minus my reference cell. And there we have it. I'm going to use the median channel exactly the same as before, equals the sum of the two previous values divided by two. I'm going to highlight, I'm going to copy them down. So now we have a dynamically adjustable Doncian channel. Now I've gone into Google Sheets, exactly the same spreadsheet. You can see it's returning a value error. Google Sheets does not allow a negative value for the height. So what we need to do is offset by the number of rows. No, no changes in the columns, but we need to give it a height of 20. I'm going to press F4 to make this a fixed reference, but we don't need to offset all 20 values. We need to offset by 19 values. So I'm going to add one to it. And when I copy this down, you can see that the value error disappears and we get exactly the same value as before. Now let's for the lower channel, exactly the same process. All I'm going to do is I am just going to shift this along. This is all you need to do. Minus 20, no change in the column. We're going to give it a height of our J2. Press F4, two parentheses, and add one because we only want to offset by 19 rows. Again, once I drop, drag this down, it's going to get rid of that value error and you can use Doncian channels in Google Sheets. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel for more content like this about calculating technical indicators and backtesting your trading strategies. There's a link on the screen to a breakout strategy that I have backtested in Excel and showing the results on the screen. And for more information about trading the financial markets, please go to tradeinformed.com.